This is a really quick card that I that I um, designed for a workshop. I learned the technique of how to make this flower that's called a circle flower from Cards Magazine. So let me quickly show you what I did. So I punched out with my one and uh, one quarter inch circle punch a bunch of circles. In this case, I think I have eight or nine. And I want to use pattern paper because it's two sided. Then I want to divide that paper so that um, some of it is on one side and some of it's on the other side. Then I'm going to take it and use it this way because I want to alternate the outside petals. So what I'm doing is I'm just bringing it in a third of a way on one side and bringing it on a third of the way on the other side and making a cone. And do your best to make it even on both sides, but um, it's okay if it isn't. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do all of these, and I actually might speed this up later. Let's see how it goes. I'm just doing these, and I'm actually kind of rushing because um, I got something else to do, and I just wanted to get this posted. So I'm just doing one third over, and so you're just kind of folding and making a cone out of the circles. And you know, if you wanted to alter this slightly, you definitely could. Um, the idea is to uh, create a concentric design using circles. So I'm going to now start with the other one, and since it's already up that direction, automatically I didn't have to remember that I want some of my cones to be um, looking like the grid and some of the cones looking like the dots. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. And soon I'll have a bunch of cones here. If you want to use your grid paper to be exact, those of you that like to be exact, please do. Okay, so I just have this last one to do. The key is that I want to point at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to take my, my I have punched out, I have used my die cut to get a scallop square. And I'm going to put that scallop square on the, on the grid so that I can see where its center is. And then I'm going to put a glob of glue from my glue done. Okay, sometimes the glue gun gives you that little strip, it's okay, just pull it away. And then I'm going to put the tip of one of the cones right into that glob of glue. So I'm starting out with one, and I'm going to keep gluing every other design going all the way around. All right, so I'm just kind of alternating the color of the um, designer paper. I'm going to keep going here. Okay. And I'm going to point out to you something that I just see something wrong. All of my flaps should be pointing the same direction. So that one wasn't, so I just reset it. My glue gun, of course, is running out of glue. I have to learn how to check everything before I start. Okay, so I wanted to just adjust that one a little bit. Okay, I'm getting some strings of glue and that's fine. Just gonna keep going. As these strings of glue harden when using glue done, they're very easy to remove. If you're wondering, I'm using the Imagine S Ibon glue gun, which I really like because it's pink. I like pink. And it's wireless. That's always fun. Um, so I'm just going to pop that into the glue. Now I could definitely use glue dots and in my workshop I actually did use glue dots instead of the glue done. Um, but you have to make sure you have the right size glue dots and they take a little bit longer in time to use. So that's why I am decided to use the glue done today. 
glue done also um, is, so this last one is too small, right? It's a little bit too small. Um, so that's okay. I'm just going to, what my customer said, shove it in there. And all is well. So all my flaps are going in the right direction. And I end up with this really kind of cute flower. All right. Now I'm going to put a brad in the middle of it before I finish it. To put the brad in, I'm just going to take my mat and a paper piercer. Purse a hole in the middle of there. I'm using one of the antique brads since it's dark and I'm going to mount this on black. You could also use like a pearl or some um, something like that. You can decide whether you want to puff up your flaps or not. And then I'm going to mount that on here. In this case, I would prefer to use either snail or tape. So in this case, I'm actually going to use a couple of uh, blue dots. It's just because time. But I probably would use snail or tape. And I'm mounting this on a square using the um, tulips, frame tulips embossing folder. And then finally I'm going to mount that here. And in this case I can totally use snail. So I'm just going to flip this over, put some snail on the back. And this is actually going to be a blank card. So we're not going to put a greeting inside. I'm going to center this. Sometimes I'll do blank cards and then later on I can put whatever greeting I want. Okay. And there's my circle card. And what's cool about it is you can use any design of series scraps you have in your scrap bin. And you can make a ton of flowers just from scraps. And you get these beautiful cards. Um, thanks for coming. And I'm glad I got to catch up on a couple of videos today. Come back again because I'm going to have some new stuff from the summer mini soon. So please come and visit again. Thanks.